According to an article that was written last month in The Root, the article says Diddy wants to spill everything in court. Hold on to your horses. Also, I saw a few vids saying that Diddy was afraid to eat in prison, afraid of being poisoned. Diddy said that is not true. I'll be back. Hey, hey, welcome back, everybody. Those who are returning, I appreciate you. New to the channel, appreciate you too. Check this out. Have you noticed all the videos that are just resurfacing? Like, I mean, 12, 13, 17 years old of Diddy and his parties and hanging out with his then friends. Those same friends are so quiet. So let's get into this article I found um, where... Diddy's attorney is saying that he might not be able to keep Diddy off the stand. Okay, this is not the complete article. I just skipped around because you know they like to repeat everything that happened last year and all that. So let's get down to it. In November 23, Cassie filed a lawsuit accusing Combs of S trafficking, human trafficking, S battery, and S assault. The suit was settled the next day, but it was followed by several other s harassments and an s assault lawsuit from other alleged victims sean combs has denied all allegations maintaining his innocence now it appears he will use his trial to explain himself while speaking with tmz for the documentary the downfall of diddy the incident combs lawyer mark agnafilo revealed that the last night artist wants to testify at his federal trial I don't know that I could keep him off the stand, the attorney said. I think he is very eager to tell his story. And what exactly is his story? What could he possibly say to explain or defend these alleged crimes? What story is there to tell about the FOs that allegedly saw men and women drugged and forced to participate in various S acts. We are not legal experts, but we also have to wonder how his possible testimony could impact the multiple lawsuits that have been filed against him. And with rumors circulating about the famous names that could be involved in these S parties, the world is wondering whether Diddy will bring down half of Hollywood with him. It's too early to know what shape the trial will take, but the attorney did address the possibility that the footage of Cones physically assaulting Cassie could become part of the proceedings. He explained that Diddy wants to tell every part of his story, including what you see in the video. I expect it's going to be explained by both of us, the attorney said. The trial and the possibility of him testifying makes his words from the, the resurfaced clip feel even more explosive during an interview about his late father's criminal past diddy ends the conversation by proclaiming that everyone who's followed his career needs to pay attention because you got to see this movie all the way through believe me i got an action-packed ending for you with all the legal issues he's facing it certainly looks like he's headed for an action-packed ending to his career Oh, I like how they ended that. Now, let's get on and talk about um, these allegations of him being afraid to eat in prison. I found an article that says the opposite. I don't know. I don't know if these people are getting wrong intel or they're just coming up with reasons to create videos to get views. As I said, I, I publish content, but I also watch YouTube videos and I watch a lot of channels. And when I come across channels that just, you know, ugh, just burns my arse. Let's continue. Diddy responds to reports that he's not eating in jail. Has Diddy stopped eating in jail? A recent report from News Nation certainly implied this. 
reporting that the rapper and producer may not be eating while he stays at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, New York. Days later, however, TMZ confirmed that Diddy has been eating while in prison despite conflicting reports. TMZ reported that Diddy is having his meals and is not paranoid about what's going into his food as some have suggested. According to the outlet, a source close to Diddy relayed that the reporting surrounding his food was not true and that he is eating the normal food provided at the detention center like any other inmate. The original report stemmed from source close to Diddy that believed that the rapper may not be eating while behind bars due to being paranoid and scared. Former inmate Larry Levine told the outlet, there's people out there that he has things on that do have a substantial amount of money. Imagine if someone pays someone off on the inside to actually poison his food, giving him a heart attack and he dies and no one would really think anything of it, Levine added. So that may be one of the reasons he's not eating. Levine also added that the food could have made him sick, leading him to ref refraining from eating. It's not coming to him warm like it would be at a regular housing unit because they feed the people in the SHU last. Levine said in a statement, maybe he got sick from the food. That's another possibility. Diddy is staying in a special housing unit due to his celebrity status and the high profile nature of the case. As we reported last week, while he is reportedly in SHU for his own safety, he is not given any special treatment, even though he is separated from the rest of the inmates. Cone's mental health has become a concern as he was placed on suicide watch last week as he awaited his trial.